it's that time again. And well, I've done too much. That's, I've done, I've done too much. Um, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to break this up into two parts. The first part is stuff that I've just been currently collecting. You've probably heard me talk about it, and we're just going to kind of shoot through it. And the second part, I picked up a ton of new series. Like a ton. Like surprisingly a lot. And uh, I've read a few of them, so I actually have thoughts instead of, I've heard it's pretty good. I actually have read some of these. So, all right. First one. Of course. Listen. Of course, it's JoJo's. I'm not a huge fan of Part 5. I'm sure I've said that before, but I will always collect JoJo's until they stop making JoJo's. Like JoJo's are just good. You know what I mean? The Shaman King Omnibuses. We are one away. Uh, they are going to print the last one in like January, February, March, the beginning of next year. And we will finally have all of Shaman King in these omnibus formats. While they are, like, bulky and stuff. I don't know. I think this is the cheapest way and best way to collect Shaman King. And actually, I think I read this somewhere. That the last omnibus, which would be volumes 34 and 35, have never been printed in English before. I, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Like, I, I might totally be wrong about that. But, yeah. All of Shaman King by the beginning of next year, will finally be complete in these omnibus formats. And these are all of them up until that final one, whenever that one comes out. Jaman King is great. Like, I've said that before. It is... I know I've said this before, but let me repeat myself. Shaman King is one of the most underrated shonen mangas of that time period, in my opinion. Like, because it... I mean, it came out with the bangers. You know, it came out with the bleach... The Dragon Balls, the One Piece, like like around that era, but it, but yeah, it's it's so good. It stands up to today. Definitely, if you like Shonen, uh, Shaman King is awesome. Speaking of Yu Yu Hakusho, I, I got my volume three. Uh, unfortunately, it is the uh, printed in Italy, so you can tell that it's thin, and. Uh, the paper quality seems kind of trash, but I am just so excited that they are reprinting Yu Yu Hakusho. I always have thought that Yu Yu Hakusho deserves like a deluxe edition treatment, like a full metal edition. I wish they would have done that instead of reprinting the singles, but any way that I can collect all of Yu Yu Hakusho, I am all about. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite Shonen series uh, of all time. Listen, there is going to be big restocks in November, December, you know, uh, January, I think. Like, I kind of try to keep up with it. And, like, Slam Dunk's coming in, the Yu Yu shows, the Vagabonds. Speaking of Vagabond, you, you see how I'm doing the transitions? Like, that's pretty, hey, I'm working on it. Volume 10, I am one away uh, to get current with Vagabond. Obviously, Vagabond is not over. We never know if it's if it's going to actually ever really end. But out of out of the Viz Bigs, I need Volume 8. Once we get Volume 8, we will we will have the picture completed on the spines. Very exciting. Ina Matsuri, I have said this before and I will say it again, Mr. Boogie Snacks on YouTube, us really like popular YouTuber, put me on to this series. I am so happy that he did. So if you watch this video, sir, thank you. Um, because it, it's so funny and like it has so much heart. I don't know. It, it works on all cylinders for me. I, I really enjoy it. And the covers are, are super nice. So I am current now with Hina Matsuri. So I have been slacking on this series, and you can probably see in my lap, uh, 
the the omnibuses of Attack on Titan. Again, like they're very bulky and kind of unwieldy, especially to like show to a camera. I really enjoyed the first omnibus of this. I need to start really cranking through this series because I know I'll really enjoy it, but it's just one of those things that there's been so many good manga coming out and that I've already purchased. It's, it's kind of tough. It's just one of those series, sadly, that has been sitting on my shelf, but I finally committed and was like, I really want to read this story. So, yeah, I, I, I picked up the remaining omnibuses of those. I hear Attack on Titan's good, you know? People really enjoy it. <laughs> also, they finally restocked my dress-up darling. Um, listen, if you've seen some of my videos, I, I wear a shirt uh, about this series. I don't know. There's just something about it. Because, like, l listen. Yeah, it's steamy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's fun and fresh. And I've only read, like, three volumes of it. I watched the whole first season of the anime. But I think what... And I don't know if it continues. Hopefully it continues throughout the series. But the wholesomeness of this series is really what draws me to it. It's not one of those that I pre-order or like definitely have to go out and grab. But when I'm in the mood and it is in stock. Uh, listen, look, it's got a bunny guy on it. Uh, it's just a fun series. One day, very, very soon. Because actually, while I was recording this video, I got an email that... Volume 19 is coming my way. So, I will be current. I'll have 1 through 24 of One Punch Man. If it's as good as people say it is, expect videos on the channel about One Punch Man. I am, this is, I'm the most excited to finally start reading it. I've pot committed at, as I do. Um, it's not a healthy way to live, but it's my way. <laughs> listen, it's not healthy, but it's, I, listen. I'm sorry, but I'm not. But yeah, so uh, I finally got volume nine in and then picked up the newest volume, volume 24. So I cannot wait to start reading this. It's about a man who can beat the bad guys in one punch. He's a one punch man. Talking about amazing series, one of my favorite ongoing Shonen Jump titles, Sakamoto Days. It's volume four. As a guy that loves, hey, I'm a punch that guy manga. I've said it before. I, I think this series all is awesome. I think this series doesn't miss for me. Um, obviously, people are going to have different opinions and stuff. But anytime I read a volume, I can never think like how I can improve it. I don't know. It's just one of those series that have come along that I know it's probably like rose colored glasses and I'm being, I don't know. Like there's something about it that I really like. So I'm kind of overlooking some stuff. But Look at this cover. This cover is killer, too, man. Yeah, it's Sakamoto Days. It's awesome. You should give it a shot if you have not. <sighs> I told you, I got a lot of manga, and we're not even into the box set yet <laughs> that I have. All the new series that I have picked up. It's, this is over 50-something volumes. It was. I went overboard. I, yeah, I, I'm very happy about it, though. <laughs> like, financially, horrible decision. But for Joy, great decision. Furion, volume six. Um, I, I've said my stuff about Furion. I think that first volume of Furion is some of the best manga in recent few years. Uh, and the premise that it sets up its story. I haven't loved the way the story has kind of gone since then. For me, I still pick it up. Because it's there's still something there. The character of Furion is still super interesting. And kind of the lore of this world and I'm not even a big lore guy but there's something about the lore of this world that keeps me coming back and so yeah obviously I picked up volume six of Furion I have been reading through the Black Clover manga and I got the bundle deal like last holiday sale of right stuff and they finally I, hey, I finally got it volume 25 I am current I have all the physical released volumes of black clover and i think i have read to volume 10 the black clover manga is good people i feel like there's some people that kind of hate on it right it's fun you know and asta are a good like rival 
Asta, a little annoying. I get you. Like, I understand what you're saying. But the art is surprisingly good in Black Clover. And the story is surprisingly good in Black Clover. I've watched all the anime, and I enjoyed the story. And listen, we can all agree the anime animation was not the highest. But now there were some scenes that was amazing. But overall, not the highest budget anime, right? And I think that's what shocked me about the artwork. The artwork is so good in a lot of pages like overall not every panel is amazing but the majority is really good so uh yeah i've been reading through black clover super happy to have completed so far the physical releases finally got volume 25 another series that people really love and i like uh, I'm not so in love with it, you know, I would, I would sell my firstborn or anything, but <laughs> weird example. Um, I should cut that from the video. I won't, uh, but it is still a super fun series and I'm going to continue to read it because there is something about it that draws me to read it again. It, it for me, it's not like, Oh man, hey, Kaiju number eight, read it. But if you've kind of read the stuff you really like and you're in the mood to read something else and if you i think it hits i was talking to my buddy rex about this i think it hits a nostalgia for people that grew up with like anime and manga in the early thousands and i think if you're in that bracket you know the late 90s early thousands bracket i th i think there's a nostalgic value in this manga and I'm excited for the anime to come out, I think, next year. If we want to talk about stuff that is very, very good, the anime is killing it right now. It's one of the best. This and Mobile Suit Gundam, Witch of Mercury, are the two best animes coming out, like, that are newer released. You know what I mean? Blue Lock. Blue Lock is so good. Blue Lock, listen, this is the one. If Kaiju number eight wasn't my one, this is the one I'm like, hey, hey, read Blue Lock. Seriously. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a sports manga, but I think that it does the sports genre, and this is not new. Kuroko knows Basket did it. Uh, Haiku is a very good example of doing it. But Blue Lock is like those shows, but if those shows really took it to the Dragon Ball Z level of shonen action when they do the animation and draw the action scenes in manga and anime. If you are interested in reading it, I highly suggest picking up like the first volume, but if not, the anime is, is really good. The anime is really good in my opinion. So if not, check out the anime. If so, uh, check out the manga, like just check out Blue Lock. I think it's super fun and really, really well done for what it is. And then the last manga that I have already been collecting, so you've probably heard me talk about it in other manga haul videos, Asadora. Listen, Urasawa gets a blank check for me. Let me move, move out. The oh, God. I Hold on. Wait. I'm moving the chair. I'm moving the chair. Don't run over the manga. I'm moving the chair. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, God. I hit something. It's not the manga. We're fine. I hit everything. Oh, God. It's all falling apart. He has his own shelf. You know what I mean? Like, Urasawa gets a blank check for me. Yeah, okay. I, I did all that for, for that one bit. You're right. It was too much. It was too much. I apologize. <laughs> and while I don't think Asadora is up to the same level, I haven't read Monster, so I can't speak on that. I really want to read it. It is literally sitting right there, and I should make time to read it, and I just haven't. But 20th Century Boys still... I've read a lot of manga since I read 20th Century Boys. I have gone back and checked out a few volumes of 20th Century Boys again to see if it holds up. While it is slower paced, and maybe it is like, since it was one of my first series that I completed all the way through, it's one of my favorites. I think it will always be one of my favorites. I don't know. I just, I really like 20th Century Boys and what it did. Again, like I said, it was one of my first manga that was not like Shonen Jump stuff, so... 
take that with a grain of salt, I guess. And while Asadora has not lived up to that, I will always, 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 and forever check out anything Urasawa does. I think they are a genius, in my opinion. So I'm a few volumes behind. I think I'm on volume four of Asadora. So one day, one day I'll check it out. But until then, I pick it up. We buy it and we let it sit on the shelf and, and one day I'll come to it. <laughs> And now for the new series that I have picked up and we'll start with the stuff that I don't I haven't read yet don't know too much about just seemed really interesting. The first I'm pretty sure is Manwa because you know the pages are colored the world after the fall. So I don't know too much about this series. I was at Barnes and Noble and, and I'll get to the series that I was actually there to pick up but I saw this and I don't the, dude this cover is so striking. I don't know, it just was one of those things. I'm a huge solo leveling fan, and I think this definitely has like solo leveling vibes to it. It's basically about from the back of the cover. Big towers appear in the world and swarms of monsters start attacking humanity. And there is a group of tower walkers and their whole mission is to get to the top of these towers. And I'm guessing by getting to the top of the towers, they can destroy the towers and stop the monsters, thus saving the world, right? Interesting enough premise, but like I said, something about this cover really like spoke to me and I, and I hope it's a good call. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of this and if it's any good, but I always try to branch out and, you know, support different type of manga and manhwa and stuff like that. And I, I think, I feel this is going to be good. I don't know. I have a sense. So I did a video about how Chainsaw Man won like the best manga award two years in a row, right? And one of the manga that was mentioned in competition or had won the year prior, Cat Gamer. And I think somebody commented and, and kind of talked about it. I own a cat. Um, so, and I, I like video games. I'm not a huge video game guy, but but like I'll, I'll play a video game every once in a while. So this has got to be for me. Own a cat have played video games. So, does the cat play video games? That's a, let's read this. Rico, a 29 year old office worker with an obsession for video games finds her quiet life upended when she takes in a stray cat having no experience with pets. Uh, she uses, a, she takes in a cat and uses video game like logic to take care of the cat. This sounds great. This sounds so good. Boy, is this cat adorable. Like I'm all about it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm all about it. I looked into this and I was like, I'm definitely picking this up. Hopefully it's good. The next one is candy and cigarette. Look at this cover. If that doesn't grab your attention, this cover, if this cover doesn't grab your attention. What are you doing? I know nothing about this series. I have seen some manga YouTubers pick it up uh, in like their manga haul videos. So I definitely want to give it a try. Again, based on cover alone, I wanted to give this a try. So yeah, again, please feel free in this section to comment down below if you've read any of these series and what your thoughts on them are. Next one, Touring After the Apocalypse. Again, uh, it's a big cover thing for me. That cover, that cover's super nice. I really like Kino's Journey. <laughs> like, that's a really good manga, in my opinion. Uh, so I thought maybe it'd be similar to that, and I've kind of read all of the, the Kino's Journey, so I figured, hey, maybe. Maybe this will be like Kino's Journey. I just realized I picked up two new series about the end of the world, so... Cool. <laughs> Neat. Next one, Tokyo Aliens. Um, I don't know anything about this. I, again, it was more of a cover-based thing. Listen, I was going through right stuff. I needed $75 to get the free shipping, all right? And I went through. That's how I got uh, touring the apocalypse and Tokyo Aliens. Sometimes when I need a little extra to get that free shipping, because I'm not going to pay $15 for shipping when I could just buy two more mangas for 20 bucks and not pay shipping. So uh, I go buy covers and 
Tokyo aliens. I'm going to guess. They're in Tokyo. Aliens have invaded. That's my guess. Probably right. (laughs) But yeah, uh, don't know anything about it. Tokyo aliens. It's a volume one that just came out. Now, I've never read this series. I have seen a bunch of manga YouTubers talk about this series. And it just came out with like omnibuses. They're cheaper and you can get a lot of it to see if I like it. You know, that's the good thing about omnibus. Maybe they are bulky and hard to read and stuff like that. But they're a good way to get a lot of a series for cheaper price. And this series... Noragami. I got the the two omnibuses. So that'd be volumes one through six. I don't know anything about Noragami. I have heard some manga YouTubers talk about it. I think it's about like, I'm going to guess a stray god, uh, because that's part of the title. But I've actually heard great things about Noragami. So I'm actually pretty excited to dive into this series. Uh, I know it's been around for a while. It's got omnibuses and it's relatively popular. So let's start off with the box set. Uh, I technically have not read this series and technically I have talked trash about this series, but I found this incredible deal at Target of all places at buy two, get one free. Got this box set for $67. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've talked trash. I've talked junk about this. It's a great deal. (laughs) Listen. Each volume was like three dollars. <laughs> Fantastic deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down because it's heavy. I have seen all the way through season five of the anime. Listen, maybe the manga is better, and I know Italian prints. I get it. Uh, I actually like went through the box set and stuff. Probably seeing it on the screen right now. Matter of fact, um, but it was a killer deal. It was a killer deal, and you never know. Okay, I might go through that manga and and find something really to enjoy. And I do remember when those first two seasons of My Hero Academia were coming out, it took over the world. And they were really good seasons of anime. So I am excited to read that stuff again because I really did enjoy the first two seasons of My Hero. And who knows, maybe in manga form I can find some enjoyment out of, you know, season three, season four. I don't really know how far the box set goes up in 20 volumes. I would imagine at least end of season three, maybe season four. Yeah, listen, yeah, I listen, yeah, I get it. I have issues with finding good deals and impulse buying for like 65 bucks. Like, I don't know, it was a great deal. (laughs) That's my defense, it was a great deal. Like less than like three bucks a volume. I got a poster, you know, the box is flimsy. The box is not great. I I will, I will tell you that Uh, like the, the actual like presentation and, and the volumes are small. Yeah, no, I'll get skinny. The paper quality is not great. It's not the best box set. You've seen people do videos on the box set before. I don't need to explain to you. You've probably seen it, but it's a great deal. Listen, it's a great deal. Don't j- it's a great deal. It's a great deal. Great deal. I didn't. <sighs> oh. Let's move on. I picked up Coffee Moon. I did a video with Rex and Tristan where they had to guess manga panels, and I picked one of these manga panels that I just found on the internet, which made me super interested in this series. So, when the first volume finally got released, I definitely had to pick it up. I have read this volume. Dude, I will tell you, this is such an interesting premise. I think this manga might be great. Uh, It's hard to judge, obviously, in a first volume. I read it very fast. It's a very fast read. But the premise of it, and I... How much do I want to give away? Uh, Okay, I'll, I'll talk about it just a little bit. We find out that... Our main girl, it's her birthday, and we see that she's repeating the day. This is like first chapter, right? And this is also first chapter. Her friend finally remembers her. And then we start going into 
that she's lived this day like 1,100 times, and her friend had finally, for some reason, started to relive the day with her and keeping her memories, finally, after 1,100 days of this day. And there is 100% something else going on. It's a really interesting premise. The art is is very good. And I don't know, there's something that is... The, the story, it makes you interested in what is going on. There's a suspense. Mystery. Is what I was looking. There was a mystery aspect to it that has really hooked me after this first volume. I, I highly... Uh, recommend out of all like the new series and series that I pick up and stuff. If you're looking for like a, a newer series, it only has one volume. Uh, I highly recommend this one. I, I don't know. I found it super interesting. And I mean, look at this art. This is just this is just you know the title page. Come on. Highly recommend. And for the last series that I have picked up, has been a series. That a lot of manga YouTube has kind of uh, flipped out about. They they've really been interested, in, and I saw that it was at my local Barnes and Noble, uh, volumes one through five, all of them, and I ended up picking up all of them because I have I have problems. Uh, honestly, the Apothecary Diaries. Yeah, I did it. Uh, yeah, volumes one through five. Uh, first off, these covers super striking. Uh, I have read. The first volume, all the way to completion. Spines. I actually really, really enjoy these spines. Very good. So it is about a character that was an apothecary and, like, becomes in service to kind of the king. Well, there's actually a really funny part because she becomes a food taster. But she has, <laughs> she has built up so much natural antidote resistant of poison that she's like, even if it was poisoned, I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> like, it's very, very funny. And I think that's what I got out of it because I didn't know too much what I was expecting. I kind of knew the setting and, and kind of what it was about and stuff because I had listened to other people talk about it. But I didn't really know how funny it would be. And and it's like a slice of life comedy. It, I, that's kind of how I would categorize it. Maybe other people would categorize it differently. Uh, what are they categorizing? Am I crazy? Did mangas used to like put like fantasy or stuff on in the back? I, f I thought they did. Uh, they did not. So I will definitely continue to read it. Like volume two is, is going to go right on my nightstand once I get done uh, recording this video. And like I said, I'm really trying to branch out and try very different varying genres besides, you know, the normal stuff. That I read and and this comes highly recommended from people that I have taken their recommendations before and and it's, and it's worked out for me so I I trust what they have to say and after that first volume like I said it was not exactly what I thought it was going to be listen it, it was pretty good I'm not gonna lie to you like slice of life comedy for me it works And yeah, that is the end of the manga. I told you, I picked up a lot of manga uh, this time. Like, over 50 volumes. It, it was crazy, but I am super excited. Dude, there is so much good manga. And, and the problem that we have, right, is like the holiday sales coming up. Like, I think next week uh, or this week when this video comes out. I'm not exactly sure. So, oh. We all need to to think of our wallets <laughs> this holiday season and you know shop smart. Don't don't be like me. <laughs> but yes, as always, I appreciate you guys so much, especially you that watched the end of the video. It means the world to me. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you're reading currently or what you think of of some of the series that I picked up that I don't know anything about. And you're like, hey, I think you're really gonna like it. This you should read this as, as soon as you can. I think you're really gonna dig that. It's always good if, when you guys are like, you should read this. I usually read it. You know what I mean? I trust you guys, what I'm saying. Don't let me die. I trust you guys. Thank you for watching the video. And if you're having a bad day, I hope it gets better. And if you're having a good day, it becomes fantastic.
I'll see you next time.